karibuni kama umekuwa na sisi na kama ndio una join kipindi ni KTN Ladies Night na tunakuwa hapa kutoka 7:30 mpaka 9:30 and now to mapata entertainment site tunataka kupatia inspiration and aspirations yani and, inst- and on set leo tuko na the beautiful and talented writer stroke speaker Fauza manzi karibu sana asante welcome so much to the show Asante. kuna kuna kitu kama hiyo but so much karibu sana yani atamina na, na karibia as much as much as much <laughs> <laughs> asante sana kuja i know you're a busy woman but you made time for us and we feel very 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 special and uh, kama kawaida tunataka pia watu wa home get something out of this so you're a writer mm. and a speaker that's correct you are you're a published author actually not yes. just a writer yes. so tell us a bit about your book so the book it's actually a personal journey mm. you know sometimes in life we feel like there is no hope we you know life pushes you on the wall mm-hmm. unaona ni kama hakuna kitu yenye hakuna kitu mzuri yenye inaweza tokea kwako mm-hmm. unaona ni kama that's the end of of life but mm-hmm. nimekuja ku realize kila kitu ambacho supitia there is a lesson for it mm-hmm. And the only thing for us to learn ni kujiuliza si wenyewe what am I doing now with what's happening how mm-hmm. can I use this to serve the purpose of my soul mm-hmm. how can I use this journey whether it's depression whether it's anxiety whether it's family rejection you know there's so many things that people go through that they feel like they are the only ones mm. and i used to feel the same especially you know when you are trying to find your place in the society ujui ni nani you know it can be a little bit confusing mm. so yeah rising from the dust a woman's journey to self discovery mm. that's the title it's a personal journey and uh, i'm i'm glad that it has actually inspired a lot of people mm. So now that you know why you are here, unajua tunalisa go to a substance and that is who you are, woman of substance. Was Thank you. was the speaker before the book or were you a speaker and when I ask when I ask speaker what what sort of talks do you do? I do inspirational talks like mm-hmm. Kamal um I live in Dubai mm-hmm. but I do s- most of the projects back here. Mm-hmm. I also do a lot of ins- ins- uh, speaking engagements also in Dubai and other p- other countries as mm-hmm. well mm-hmm. but uh you know i always believe that um mcheza kwa utunzwa so i've decided that there are so when i started to talk about my journey you know we see our stories through other people mm-hmm. and uh what to talk when to mania message you know i remember the first ktn interview i had books and blogs you know it had a lot of impact actually mm. i was getting messages and messages mm. and i realized that people are struggling people are suffering and sa zingine tunaogopa ukiongelelea kitu yenye tuseme unaenda you know depression uko na depression yeah tuko na ile fear ya kuwa nikiongelelea mtu mwingine atani judge but sa zingine tusipo reach out you know other people won't really know how we feel because sometimes sis wenyewe we don't even know we are sick mtu anaweza kuuliza how are you and you go like i'm fine mm-hmm. but deep down you are not fine so i do inspirational talks as we speak actually i was in dandora uh, high school i went to kariobangi i was in a uh, kariako for um a women um it's a, actually a group of young single mothers mm-hmm. teenagers actually 15 16 17 the oldest mm. and these are girls when you tired wako na toy watu wawili na wengi wao ni wa Mombasa you know so i keep on asking myself what is it that we are not doing right you know so yeah i feel like god has given me this journey mm. this this um mm this whatever i'm doing so that i can serve the purpose of my soul but mm. also to encourage other people mm. so that they don't feel like they are um, they are alone mm. so umesema it's it's god i mean kwa kapo god has put you there to speak to these people and um what what made this come out in you and ukianza unajua what binadamu binadamu unajua watu wataangalia tuseme ni nini namfanya au ni anaweza kuja na niambie mimi venye nitaisha ni ye advice yake ndio tofauti kushinda ya huyu mtu mwingine how did did it come up in you no know, kasema today is the day 
I will do this for someone. Well, I always say si kuamka nikajipata nikiwa hapa mm. tunafanya hii interview mm. una get mm. you know it was a process mm. writing rising from the dust was a cleansing process for myself you know when you really go back to the memories unarudi unafungua hizo cabinets and you start cleaning up for yourself and it's not easy si rahisi kwa sababu saa zingine you you don't feel like doing it mm. but I did it because I wanted to heal myself to accept myself with mm. my story as I am you know whether it's rejection whether it's it's depression you know feeling of inadequate insecurities mm. b- I've battled with fear you know there is so much what wana pitia vitu mingi sana so well I don't know why am I doing it I feel because I'm I'm not doing it actually only for other people I'm mm. doing it because I'm serving the purpose of my soul mm. and it's when people actually come to me and they say to me Asanti mm-hmm. I saw you talking about identity the other day we were talking about identity you know and how we don't need to identify ourselves mm. with the labels we've been labeled with other people and the ones we identify ourselves with and I don't know there is so much to do you know I take it so personal when I hear young girls committing suicide you know mm. what are we doing we what are we doing you know we w- parents teachers you know the government ninini mm. yenya tufanye you know because we cannot start running when things yeah. are not okay we sh- mm. you know we need to do something mm. if it's sanitation there is no sanitation what are we doing mm. about this mm. you mm. know So I know that I cannot help everybody but najua yeah. we can only do our part mm. because at the end of the day if we wait for other people to do things you know who is going to take the action so mm. I feel like you know the reaction of people you know messages and so miupata they give me the the energy you know the the strength, the strength yeah. and also the hope that other people they they are being helped mm. because i've said a word of encouragement mm. this is what makes me do what i'm doing mm. and um unajua anasema mara nyingi ndio mtu ni a problem somewhere else lazima pia ndani yako uko umeji lazima uko umepitia kitu na lazima uko wewe mwenyewe you have come to terms yeah. to who you are yeah. you know so maybe you can tell us a bit more about you before we andike sasa the book itself mm-hmm. what did you discover about yourself what had you been be through yani what what is the story behind it well i always say my story is not so f- so so strange mm. if it's being born out of wedlock and being labeled i think there are so many other people who they have mm. gone through the same um if it's rejection there are other people who have actu- there are so many people who have gone similar issues mm. but for me kitonye ilinifanya unajua saa zingine it's like what i said you don't even know you are sick yourself sometimes we don't know we are sick because we tumezoea hiyo situation yenye tuko mpaka you don't know anything better mm. and um it all started when i had i don't know i was trying to reconcile with myself the mm. reasons of my birth that actually caused family division and going through this journey i had a coach i had a counselor and i realized that i was not okay you know and i I wasn't happy with myself. You know, I always say people only see the glory, mm. but they don't know the story. No, so I knew I had to do something. You know, because s- words have power. You know, we label people, we say things to other people. It's it's emotional abuse, it's physical abuse, you know it stays with someone but sometimes we don't even realize and so for me it was a process i needed really to find out why am i feeling this way you know and how can i how can i get rid of these thoughts you know wha- what we c- the, m- the mind is very strong i always speak of the power of the mind yeah it 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 can condition you to believe what everyone else has said about you 
Nelewa. But who do you call yourself? Even when someone says, oh, you are a prostitute, mm -hmm. you know, who do you call yourself? And sometimes you may realize, based on the talks that I do, most people, most girls actually, a lot of girls, even today I was speaking to some girls, we identify ourselves with the labels that we've been labeled by other people. We don't even know our own identity, that it does not come from our parents, it comes from God. Mm. So it's, it's not easy, but we need to, we need to know who we are mm. so that we can identify Kwamba to Konashida and what yeah. can we do, reach out to get help. I had mm. a coach and that's how I, walked, I went through this process mm. and here we are. So for you, the turning point was you were making peace with something that happened during your yes. birth. Yes. And like you mentioned earlier before, sometimes when I say, I'm fine. Because in my head, I have a job, I have a roof over my head. In a few years, I can save and buy a car. But it's never, you know, it's, there's never a straight path to anything. And how do you take yourself from that? Ni tips So that you know what you're actually going through. What, what sort of tips would you give someone to self-discover more? I think we need to do self-talk, you know, I always encourage the, every time I have an opportunity to speak, I encourage, sometimes you need to, to be still. Kwa mm -hmm. and you gather your thoughts, you know, you, you, you align your mind, your body, everything together. And you find, you, you know, you will realize that Akiliako, it continuously mm. goes on and on and on. And mm. the mind is very powerful, you know. What we feed it, it will continue to make, it can even make a movie unrealistically, you know, hear the power of the mind. So, Nitipgani Nezambiam to, ah, you just need to know that identity ako, I aiko in a line na kenyo nafikiria, kenyo napitia, kenyo meambiwa, labels zenyo meambiwa. Mm. It, it does not align with this. Kwa sababu, nimekuja kurealize kwamba God, you know, he he's the final. And the fact that we are here in 2019, it means you are not here by accident. Mm -hmm. Because God afanyi kitu yoyote na accident. Yeah. You know, he mm -hmm. purposely does things. Mm -hmm. And none of us are accidents, you know. And kila kitu nye supitia kwa life, say ati God ajui, God anajua. Mm -hmm. But he's preparing you for your mission, mm -hmm. you know. And if, but you will only understand, ukikachini ujulize, why am I going through this? Mm -hmm. And nezaje tumiai experience, not to serve me, but to serve others and to serve, you know, the purpose of your own soul. Mm -hmm. Because every experience has a lesson. Yeah. And our business is to find out why are we in that season. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always amazing kipatana na female who's so confident in themselves. I'm sure it's not always a clear road for you, but... Absolutely but not. I you, still have my very bad days. Hopeful, yeah. And so you mentioned Ulikwana coach. And uh, sometimes when I was Africa predisposition, unangaleko, ah, it's an unnecessary luxury. Do you feel it's also an unnecessary luxury? Ama, it's something you should try at least once. You know, ni kama vile tumesema kila mtu anapitanga vitu tofauti, mm -hmm. For me, I was sick. Mm -hmm. And I and the reason why I knew this it's because mm -hmm. my son actually one day alinipata kwa bedroom na nalia. And I don't know why I was crying. And he was like, "Mama, are you okay? Is everything okay? Why are you crying?" You know, and it's like sometimes we don't even realize mm -hmm. we are sick ourselves. Yeah. You know, we work with broken people out mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. We pass people every day. People are broken, but we don't realize. And sometimes everyone ako busy. Kila mtu ako busy na life yake. Akuna monyata ako considerate, you know. Mm -hmm. And so, if you really feel that things are not well, you don't need a coach. Mm -hmm. A trusted friend, mm -hmm. you know. If you have good relationship with your parents, mm -hmm. talk to them. Yeah. And but I always say, you know, that's why there are a lot of issues of suicidal things mm -hmm. nowadays. Ni kwa sababu watu 
first of all they think ni epe kiaka na pitia hiyo kitu i used to feel the same i used to feel i was the i'm the only one rejected by family based on the choices i've made in life you know i'm the only one born out of unloving family i'm the only one who has lived in a dysfunctional family but una realize when you share your story mm. with other people una like oh mm. kumbe kuna hata mtu mwingine mwenye anapitia kitu kingine hata yeah. zaidi kuniliko yeah. but you can only find out ukijua kwamba you are sick and you need help mm-hmm. so coach mentors these people are very important like mm-hmm. i have mine and i thank god for them because they keep on they keep you on track as well mm-hmm. na si lazima uende kwa mtu ulipe pesa mm-hmm. it can be even your friend someone mm-hmm. you trust but they need to see that that wewe mwenyewe unafa kuona you you you, you, you mm-hmm. something is not okay yeah you come oh gee things are not okay nobody's not hakuna mtu mwenye atajua uko na shida and uh, just uh, before we wrap it up i understand uko na projects zenye zimekuleta hapa like you mentioned earlier you, you wish you home yeah but uh, karibu mm-hmm. and uh, so uko na you have some projects going on maybe to be briefly about those So based on what I've been doing, you know, it all started with the book and then mm-hmm. the the speaking engagements that I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I re- I realize every time nikimaliza kuongea, mm-hmm. ninauliza mtu swali. Hakuna mwenye anajibu. Mm-hmm. Unajua kwa nini? Wanaogopa ule mwingine nikiuliza kama I've been sexually abused, ule mtu mwingine atajua? Mm-hmm. Atajua na watafanya nini? Watanijudge. Mm-hmm. So nime realize There are so many broken people out here but they are so scared to talk mm-hmm. kwa sababu wanogopa mtu mwingine akijua itata itaninio itaenda mtaani you know so I've started a conference I call it woman to woman we had it on Saturday it was amazing we had more than 50 women who showed oh. up and women they didn't want to leave the room that's how impactful it it was mm-hmm. so it's for us mm. you know we had some gentlemen also mm. so don't feel like the men were left out they were actually contributing as mm. well but the intent it's for women nili realize wanawake sa zingine they don't have a safe place to go mm. and so woman to woman in a platform yenye you know we get together mm. we share when you are depressed we had psychologists in the room mm. we had lawyers in the room we had doctors we had we had women you know people were there yeah. so me nikijua uko na shida fulani i will call so and so i'll say do you mind talking to this person mm-hmm. you know a safe place mm-hmm. we share our vulnerabilities we share our fears we share our anxieties we pray for each other we encourage each other mm-hmm. even successful stories yeah. right so that's one woman to woman conversations and then i started fauza foundation Fosa Foundation ilianza kwa sababu ya you know nili realize nikenda talks kwa mashule kwanza in the slums or the rural areas you know some of the girls ukiuliza um what are the things that sometimes you lack you know mm. inaweza kuwa ni kalamu nini mm. you know there no yeah. more things yeah and some of the girls they were like sometimes ata sina pads you come ako kwa na chakula jana anaweza kuwa na paketi ya pads ya 100 bob haiwezi kuwa nayo so i really took it so personal because i look at these girls and i see myself mm. i identify myself mm. with them and i feel like to who much is given much is expected mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i decided okay i will have a foundation yeah get donors who can support and um so far we've actually helped more than 2000 girls wow yes today we gave almost 200 girls sanitation yes i'm so tired i'm <laughs> telling you but, but i thank god thing. i thank god for yeah. the grace that he has been mm. giving me honestly yeah. how i do it divine mm. how do i get the donations i just get the donations how mungu anatenda mm. you know what god sees the heart mm-hmm. when your our intentions are right god will provide i've seen it i'm telling you a testimony mm-hmm. hello amen it's Please. working and uh, just before we leave, we take a break uh, maybe you know about your social media handles email contacts if they want to be part of your your uh, women for women mm-hmm or something oh actually it's jamaliza for the foundation so we do the sanitation mm-hmm. I, w- i have st- we've started paying for a girls school fees mm-hmm. because i realized some of the girls imagine wazazi kupata 1015 it's yeah. a problem mm-hmm. so we've started with one girl mm-hmm. i'm not going to say where mm-hmm. but uh, yeah this is part of the foundation 
and um, school amenities. So as we grow, the foundation will grow. Mm -hmm. My prayer is to have Fauza Foundation School. Amazing. Social media handles, Fauza Belt. Belt is B-E-L-T-Z. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, on YouTube channel. YouTube channel, actually, normally I, I, I do normally my recordings. Mm -hmm. I talk about identity. Okay. Yeah, bra branding, branding, yeah, branding, um, uh, um, confidence, mm. you know, all the things, fear, yeah. you know, all the things that sometimes we struggle with because there are things that I can identify myself with. I share them on YouTube. So just go subscribe. I'm telling you, you will be really be inspired. Uh, thank you so much, Fauza, for coming. And everyone watching from home, Uyo Alikwa, Fauza Bells telling us about her journey and her books. If you're interested, if you feel like you need to discover more about yourself, Amuambia Palim Tampata, and how you can reach out, how to be part of the forum she's having. So do not miss out on an opportunity of self discovery. And Kidogo Tonata Kwa Peleka Break, but Msijali Tunarudi Nanyini Kwa Panel Discussion Moja Moto Sana.